This is like the first thing I filmed all day long. Anyway, hey guys. Um, I was so happy to, I actually found this in the store like yesterday or the day before, but I ate them before I was able to remember to, to uh, vlog them. Uh, yeah, Walgreens. Not only are they bringing in the candy corn and the Indian corn, look at this, assorted Halloween Mellow Creams. Oh my gosh. Okay, out of like all candy besides chocolate covered cherries, these are like my favorite. They are my weakness anyway. Look guys, mail call! And these are the uh, the skeletons for the tops of the 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 the, the cattle gate pole thingies. And I don't have my tripod with me, so I'm figuring out how am I going to do this. I guess I'll start here, maybe. Okay, and while I do this, I'll explain a little something. Last night's vlog, okay, I went through and filmed about 45 minutes worth of stuff yesterday. I went through the whole building of the cattle gates again for the pieces that I had to do that I didn't do the other night. And I spent about an hour putting together everything and then it's like, you know something? This is boring. This is like the same thing like from the day before but only you guys got to watch me actually do it instead of just say, here, I did it, look. and. Unfortunately, all the video is gone. I decided to, to trash that and, and go with, obviously, what I went with. So I apologize for it being, like, almost 20 minutes long. I don't like doing that. Oh, my gosh. Are you kidding me? I hope I never lose my hands. Hee <laughs> hee. Cool. Look at these. Very cool. So, the question now that I'm going to uh, post to you guys. Do I paint them? Do I paint them black? Do I keep them white? Aren't they cute? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I guess they're supposed to be like party whistles. So you guys know what I have to do, right? Sounds more like a choo-choo train. It's a very weak whistle. Good thing I'm not going to use them as such. But then again, if you were a parent and you had like a party of like a Halloween party with kids, I guess that would still get annoying. Never mind. All right. And, oh my gosh, also from work, we have this uh, old van that was uh, abandoned at our shop for like, uh-oh. I'll show you this in a second. Uh... It was abandoned at our shop for like a long time and we can't get the title for it because it's a Canadian vehicle. So maybe uh, Calgary and uh, Dedmonton could uh, help with that. Just kidding guys. But the thing about it is that the old or the new owner wants it out of there. The old owner painted the whole thing and just let it sit out front and used it basically as a virtual billboard. I'm acquiring it. Hopefully. I can just sell it for some scrap and get it out of here. But yeah, there's going to be this big old uh, yellow looking eyesore here for a little while. But And this is, I was just going to show you, uh, problem, <laughs> problem Houston, we have a problem. Hmm. So obviously I'm going to have to cut it down, but it looks like it's going to fit. And I went with these because number one, they were cheap, and number two, I liked them. They're, they're not too spooky. They're not too expensive, you know, being out in the queue line with the kids and everything that would try, well, they're probably going to end up trying to pull these off more than they would the actual uh, finials. But anyway, yeah, I, I went with these. I thought they were cool. Oh, oh, I should make them talk. Never mind. Random thought. Right now, I'm in the process of getting all these set up. Pretty much how they're going to be at least with the the six feet spacing in between them um, although I'm using the first set of chain that I cut 
so that I get all of them, all the other ones the exact same length. And I'm just matching them up uh, chain per chain and then uh, cutting the end. One thing though, if you guys do this, on the top of the chain there, see how it's kind of rough? That's where it's like, not, not naturally, but that's where they put them together at. That's the same place that I've been making the cut. That way when you kind of twist it and you put it up here, um, it's not going to break on this other side, hopefully. <laughs> it's going to be a lot colder in October also, so we'll see what happens. And of course, plastic becomes brittle, but in my line of work, I'm always thinking about structural integrity, and I would rather break the chain at a place that has already been broken than cut the other side of it. So yeah, this is basically where people walk through, and I want to get all this stuff set up so that I can go and do whatever kind of distressing I'm going to do. Honestly, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet or how I'm going to do it. I got the two colors of spray paint, but just the dusting on it wouldn't really look realistic. I was actually thinking about spraying some of it onto a paper towel just a little bit and streaking it down. So I don't know for sure yet. I'll admit, I've never done anything with cheesecloth before. Cheesecloth to me sounds like something that you eat, except the cloth part of it. That might be kind of hard to swallow. Right here is where the chain is put together, but where I cut is where the mold is, where the mold connects. So I'm not sure if that makes sense, but you, it, it's a weak part of the chain, okay? So I'm trying to, you know, do dish. Anyway, I ran out of chain. Go figure. But I, I kind of figured that I would because I would rather have not gotten enough than gotten too much. Um, okay, so right out where the truck is in the front, that's where the line, the queue line is going to start, all the way over to the the front entrance of the haunt. So at the front entrance of the haunt is basically going to be between these two posts right here. But there's going to be a little bit of space because people are going to walk around that one. So to bring you through real quick, you guys remember me saying that I didn't want people to be like out in the street. So from right here to right here, there's going to be chains connecting all these pieces right here. So, if you were to walk this way, you're in the street right now, okay? You are in the street, believe it or not. It may look green, it's a green street. Just kidding. So you're in the street, you're walking along, there's chain, there's chain, come to the last one. Entrance will be right there, there's chain here. And then this is where it starts. It starts the long wind, around now over here is chain link fence so that's going to be the actual fence that's right there so this is going to be closed right here walk through here walk through here and finally walk out here right out here is going to be you know obviously the greeter uh the donation booth for northwest harvest and also the monetary donation booth to try and recoup um, oh, and obviously those down there are not to scale. There's going to be wide paths uh, just because single file, kids, Halloween, excitement, plastic chain. I don't want people getting too rambunctious and not have room to move. You know, I don't want them to be like totally confined into like, you know, a two and a half foot walkway. Well, not until they get into the haunt anyway. You got to play on their sense of... Uh, claustrophobia right especially in dark places and it needs to sink down a little bit more I actually cut it off uh, so it would fit in there and it needs to sink down a little bit more and then I'll, I'll glue it in but if it's black then you know if it were black I don't think that would be a totally bad thing because it'll blend in with the rest of the post and not stand out so much so it's not going to bring like a lot of attention to the young people that might try to pull them off. This is 30 inches tall. A lot of the kids' view is going to be from right here. Yeah, so I mean, I'm on my knees right now, but... Well, hold on. Wait a second. I'm not on my knees. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the whole Indian crouch. So this is like 30 inches right here. Eye level, just about. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a facade this year. Usually I put like a blow-up inflatable. I usually get cool ones. Um, I might end up reusing one of those, or, I don't know, I don't know yet, I'll think about it. Anyway, I'm boring you guys, 
sticks and stones may break my bones, but plastic chains excite me. It just popped in there. All right, so you guys ready for COC in 310? And again, I'm not. Hold on, wait for it. Mama always said that I was a smart man, but sometimes I just come unprepared. Three minutes, 10 seconds on the clock, and here we go. Julie's a gal. Maybe, oh, maybe she had her bikini on while mowing, mowing the lawn because she knew that um, I would see her. Yeah, I'm thinking probably not because I wasn't even out front, but it's definitely a nice thought, isn't it? And I titled the vlog last night, um, uh, the whole bikini mowing the lawn or whatever, and uh, I don't know. It, it was just a spur of the moment, and I thought it was kind of cute. That's why I did that, um, which will be referenced here in a little bit. <laughs> Jay, Sunfire 12. Not candles again. Yes, candles again. They are coming up, but they're going to be cooler this time and a lot quicker. And thank you for saying that the gate looks good and you like the chain hanging lower. I like it when my chain hangs low, too. Um, <laughs> I was really hoping it wasn't me in the bikini, says a smarter you. Um, and I'm glad too, because you know, I, I don't even look good without a shirt on. I'm not going to go around in a bikini. Um, and you saw today, hopefully, that I have uh, kind of decided on the, the skulls for, for the gate, or the fence, the cattle gate. You know, this has been like really long, two minutes left, okay. Uh, the Apocalypse 13th, um, Sexy Lady the Bikini, yeah! <laughs> and yes, 88 days, uh, 87 by the time you guys see this. Um, and uh, Mike, I would go to Ohio and help, but I gotta maintain my job and stuff here. And thank you for saying good vlogging. Uh, fairly, dang it, very useless words. Um, I love those candles too. And, uh, you know, if you guys uh, go there, or go back to the vlog yesterday, uh, call up Emily. Uh, tell her that I sent you and get some of those candles. They're really cool. Not being paid to say that or anything. It's just I like them that much. Um, let's see. Uh, Haunt FL. Does that stand for Haunt Florida? Just curious. Um, yeah, and even though the chain is still midway up, I still think that people are going to have the urge to jump over it. Uh, and being the plastic chain, though, that's the nice thing about it. If it breaks, you just take a link and cut it like I've done and just splice it back together. So it's not a huge deal. Josh Rockstar. Hellion would have been a good one. And he absolutely was. I, I didn't like the one yesterday, the Haunted House HNTDHS. And I, I think that's what I put down there on the license plate. So hopefully I won't get my third choice. Hellion would have been a good one, but Washington State doesn't like hell in the license plate. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to get Hellmouth. But it, they also give you a spot on there to put down the reasoning or the meaning of the plate. So I did that. Hopefully they'll give it to me. Um, the drawing of the truck looked like I was wearing a coon skin hat. Well, you know, Davy Crockett, and you know, he's he's country too. He was like the original country. Um, glued cheesecloth to the chains. I said that just a couple seconds ago, and I I need to find some. I need to, to work with it and figure it out. Where am I at? Two more comments. Oh my gosh, nine seconds. I'm not going to make it. Um, yeah. Uh, Forary Killer. Uh, he rolled the dice and watched the vlog, even though I had the bikini up there. And I'm out of time. But Dynicia12 um, says that she thinks posts look good without the finials. Um, and yeah, the like I. It, our minds must be on the same brainwave because like I said a little while ago so that I think some of them might walk away but you know five dollars or whatever it was it was less than that I can't remember what I paid for them but yeah not a huge deal all right so that's out of the way really quickly Whew, I'm out of breath I wish I could talk like really fast and not like stumble over my words Tyler man rocks actually it's Tyler man rocks thank you for subscribing and 66 Amy Rocks 66. So are y'all like a couple? No, I'm just curious. Both of you rock. All my subscribers rock. So anyway, guys, happy haunting. See you tomorrow. I want to go relax.